Hey guys, how's it going and welcome to another week of Force of Will News. Be sure to stay till the end of this video where I'm going to do the uh, giveaway, our Patreon giveaway, if you guys want to find out who won for the playmats here. Also, if you guys are in the market for any singles for both Force of Will or Caster Chronicles or wanting to sell off some of your singles for Force of Will, as well as have some really uh, nicely pr priced uh, product that includes uh, pre-orders for Time Spinning Witch for $80, the new constructed deck for $15, etc. And all their singles being at or below TCG player uh, price, visit the link below for Happy Little Hug Factory, it's pretty awesome. I've gotten a whole bunch of cards from them already, so I'm pretty excited to get those in the mail here. But uh, yeah, just click the link below in the description. So we had a couple cool things happen over this week, so we'll go ahead and jump right into it. We'll start with the competitive side. We had a Singapore GP happen over the weekend. There were, I believe, 54 people in attendance. And so the top eight was uh, pretty interesting. So first place, we had a Dark Idriso deck. Second place was an Ayu deck. Third place was, of course, the Pharah deck. Fourth place was a new uh, guild deck, uh, so that's pretty cool. Uh, then what was a it was a fair deck, another fair deck, and then a Lumia deck, and lastly a Mikage deck. So a cool little spread there. Three fairers were all that made it in there, and the rest was the spread of different rulers. Obviously, still the main rulers. However, it was cool to see uh, Idriso make the top of it. It was able to counter out a uh, fair pretty uh, well, at least in that competition. So. That's pretty cool. I'm curious how uh, that might change because obviously all, all of those decks, with the exception of uh, IU, ran playsets of things like Otherworld Dreams. So I'm wondering how the meta will shift now after this since this was the last GP to happen with this sort of uh, bans in effect. Moving on next, just a quick uh, so you guys are aware, if you're planning on doing the London GP, they do have limited seating. I think they have uh, advanced signups for and stuff for it. So make sure you look into that. That's going to be pretty cool to see how that unfolds. The uh, Toronto GP they announced is going to be taking place at Anime North now. So that's kind of uh, interesting. I'll, I'll be curious to see how that plays out as well. Moving on from GP news, the in case you guys hadn't already seen at the pre-release, I'll work go over it here since I haven't gone over it in the news yet, is they did misprint the rulers. The front side is going to be different from the back side. So that's just in all the booster boxes. This is something that you're going to have to deal with. So if you come across one of those, obviously you can't use it, but you can keep it for collection purposes. Otherwise, you you have to defer to the... I'll, I'll do a link below to the post for the Facebook group that uh, Jeff had made regarding what to do with it. It depends on the country. In the U.S., we'll be shipping them to uh, Rob, I believe it was, and, and when you do that, they'll ship back the corrected version of the ruler. Or if you attend an ARG or a GP, they'll have the, cor the corrected version of the rulers there, so you can just trade them in in person and get the corrected one. Other countries might be different. They, they might have ruler packs where you just give your ruler to them and you get a ruler pack with a random ruler inside of it. That's correct, etc., etc. This did not apply to Uber Rarity. Uber Rarity is still correct uh, printing. Uh, speaking of Ubers, something you guys might have noticed at pre-release is that you're pulling a whole lot of them. And there's a reason for that. The original arts of things like Panda, Gil, and uh, Shayla are in Kyrick. I think I'm all the starter deck rulers except for uh, the last one, the dark one, uh, are the chase cards in this set. If you guys remember, chase cards were things like Band Girls and the Hispando cards where it, you were guaranteed one per booster box of this sort of alternate art. Here you have the original art with the unsealed abilities but in uber form that you'll be guaranteed one per box that does not affect your actual rulers that you get you'll still get your normal two as well as it will not affect if you get an actual ruler as far as we can tell an actual uber might replace it an uber that is of the new rulers for example uh, we're not 100 percent sure but you're guaranteed one of these ubers in each box whether or not that's a good thing in the long run it's hard to tell but it was another one of the, in, of the inevitable side effects of doing this whole sealed ability experiment that Force Will did that hopefully uh, will end with this cluster. <laughs> next we had some Caster Chronicle news. So they announced the next set, which is going to be the New World Order admissions. As you can see, they have this promo image right here and it's announced to come out June 25th of this year. So that's pretty awesome. I'm pretty excited about that. Uh, unfortunately, there's no other info as far as we don't have 
promo card image, playmat image, etc. is not available. Just that it's going to be 84 different cards and the normal themes like that. They did announce that we will get a starter deck with it since we didn't get one this last set. So it's cool that we'll get one here. I'm actually really excited about this. So it's called Magical Dream 7. It's the first starter deck. Obviously there's only been two, but this starter deck is gonna have all seven colors inside of it. And as you can see from this picture, it's an idol deck. So it's gonna be band stuff. So you can see they have guitars, drums, sceners, different things like that. The sort of classic idol anime sort of trope. So I'm actually super excited about that now and I'll probably get in a couple of those starter decks just to make sure I get uh, all of the cards that I want and need. So pretty excited about that. So moving on, we're gonna do our giveaway here now. So I'm gonna just sort of spin this wheel here to see who it was. Just the $1 tier on Patreon gets you an entry. It's We're doing the GP playmat you get when attending the GP I'm giving away, as well as one other playmat of your choice from my collection, which includes the Castle Chronicles playmat and a good dozen or so other playmats that vary. Uh, so yeah. It's spinning, oh my gosh. And the winner is Sick Twisted Say. So that's awesome. It's one of our new patrons that just uh, joined us up here. So congratulations on winning that a first go around. I'll go ahead and uh, contact you for the info on that. So if you guys want to be in on that as well as have access to our mini uh, Patreon podcast each week, just join up on our Patreon and you'll have all the different tiers and all that there. And Outside of that, thanks you guys for joining us and we'll see you guys next time.